Hello and welcome to the Spreadco video update for Thursday the 9th of February. You know, it's very often said that if you can get the direction of the dollar correct, then uh, your trading your, will, will follow along that pattern, at least you, you can sort of infer where a lot of other markets are going from that. At the moment we've seen the dollar come back from a 14-year high at the beginning of the new year the dollar index uh, hit an intraday high of 103.80 which was a 14-year high for it the uh, euro dollar hit a 14-year low uh, below 104 uh, so very much uh, going in sort of a reverse correlation obviously because the dollar index is 53 percent is 53 percent euro nevertheless since then we have pulled back about three or four uh, percent and now the dollar index although the dollar index has now bounced again and is, is hovering around this 100 level. Now there are various things playing into this and really we're sort of, it, it, it's sort of undecided where quite the dollar could go next and if there is going to be a sort of a new trend forming from here or if we're just going to trade in the kind of range, albeit a wide one, uh, that we saw running from uh, early March 2015 until just after the US election uh, when Donald Trump surprised everyone by winning and when the, the dollar took off and broke above resistance soon after. Now what's weighing, well what's playing into uh, the dollar at the moment, first off of course uh, Trump's campaign promises to cut taxes for both corporations and individuals, reduce regulation, uh, talking about infrastructure spending, basically making the US a much more business friendly place than it has been uh, over the past eight years. So that's all been very dollar positive. Um, of course saying these things and then being able to do them, get them through Congress is a very different matter and a lot of what's happened since uh, Trump's, uh, since Trump act actually was inaugurated uh, back at the, in the beginning of January, we have seen a lot, you know, a lot of negative stuff coming out, especially with uh, tr controversies over travel bans, um, uh, protectionism, that kind of thing hasn't been good for the dollar and that's one of the reasons why we have seen it come back uh, quite a bit from its uh, New Year high. But at the basis of this, of course, is the Federal Reserve as well. And at the moment, uh, the Fed is projecting that it will hike rates by about 75 basis points in 2017. At the moment, the market only expects 50 basis points. But let's watch out for what uh, Fed head Janet Yellen says uh, next week. Uh, I think she's uh, talking to in, in Washington. And I know a number of commentators reckon that she could come over as a bit hawkish in order to keep March um, live in terms of the possibility of raising rates. So we might get a bit of a pickup in the dollar uh, if that were to happen. So on the flip side, of course, um, these are things that are pay paying in. You know, if we if we do actually get uh, rate rises, and that's po dollar positive. Of course, if there is a, then a realization that come March we ain't going to get that rate rise, then of course we can see the dollar pull off from there. And at the same time, there's an awful lot going on in Europe, uh, which is playing into the euro and is actually sort of causing some euro weakness. Uh, we have got the Dutch general election in March, where Gert Wilders of the far right uh, seems to be doing very well and is obviously euro skeptic. And then in uh, April and May we have the French presidential election where Marine Le Pen is expected to go through the first round although and, and as things stand at the moment she's not expected to win in the final head-to-head -head in May but you know who knows but these things are going to be weighing on, on, on the euro going forward so you know plenty to think about um, it's going to be difficult we've got to really get over I think the next sort of four weeks or so to have more of an idea uh, if we are going to get a, a trend developing in the dollar but you know we, we could find that we just are, are going to be ranging range trading uh, for the for the next uh, few weeks or so